Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and we're just looking quickly here at uh, my Chilean guavas, if I can hold the camera steady, um, Agni Molinai and the variety is Kapow, which is meant to produce, I believe, the largest Chilean guava fruit. Um, it had quite a lot of flowers on it this year, but it only set about half a dozen fruit, three or four of which you see here, which are very small, about a little bit smaller than blueberries um, but I've decided I'll probably pick them because I think they'll be grabbed by various birds and beasts possibly um, and I don't think they'll ripen anymore now we're in the middle of October so I thought I'll just pick these and just put pop them on a plate and perhaps taste them and see if they've got any sweetness in them for people that are interested in these quite unusual fruits so I'm just going to um, I can't do this all hold the I'm in a very awkward position here so I can't hold the um, camera and pick the fruit well I might better pick this one possibly you can see it's light colored underneath but that's not always an indication that it's not ripe so we've picked that off so what I'm going to do is pick these switch the camera around and get a slightly better focus on it and then uh, have a look at them and perhaps taste them and see what they taste like. Be back to you in a second. Okay, so here we are with our Chilean guavas. Now, you can probably see that these um, these fruits, it's in quite a shady position. They've got a red or pinkish blush to them, but they're also quite pale on one side of the fruit as well. I hope you can sort of see them properly. Now they're probably the size of large peas. Um, I have seen them in other videos where they appear to be dark, a much darker red, but as I said this is the variety Kapow which is meant to produce the biggest fruits. Um, it could be they could have been left a bit longer. I've got another four or five on the bush that are sort of lower, they're lower down and more shaded and they're still white, but in actual fact when these are light green or white they can still be fully ripe because if you get the variegated ones on uh, flambeau they are actually sort of white with a hint of pink on them and they're perfectly ripe, but what I thought I'd do is just try um, try one of these I can smell they have got quite a nice scent to them um, I've heard people say they're strawberry scented I'm not sure um, let's try this one not quite as ripe as I think they should have been in some areas of the country they seem to be a lot more ripe that one's a bit that was nicer they're kind of um, strawberry they have got a slight strawberry flavor to them which is what people often say Quite sweet, not particularly sweet. I've heard people say they're very, very sweet. So I think these ones probably weren't ripe enough, but as there are so few, I didn't want to run the risk of them being grabbed by birds, although I'm not particularly sure that birds are overly attracted to them, especially if they can't see them on the bush very well. It was quite well, they're quite well disguised, but you need a lot of them to, to have a decent meal. But I think as the bush gets bigger, it'll be absolutely loaded. But they're very hardy in this country, or seem to be so. Certainly, well worth uh, well worth growing them for a little ornamental that produces edible berries. Uh, that's my Chilean guava capao, Agni Molinai. As I said I just thought I'd do a quick taste video and have a look at them for people who are particularly interested in those. That was quite a nice one. Not as sweet as they should be. Not ripe yet. Not, not unusual, I don't know why, but for some reason or other in this area they seem to be a bit late ripening, I'm not sure why that should be. So anyway, thanks for watching the video, please give me a thumbs up. Do, uh, do share the video if you think anybody might be interested in uh, Chilean guavas. Um, they're not a, a guava of course, but um, they're called that because the fruit looks similar to a very small guava. Uh, they, are dis they are distantly related in the Myrtaceae family, I believe. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and remember to click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll see you all soon. Brett out for now.